In this video, we'll be going over how to add a rich text section to your Shopify homepage using the new Shopify Generative Text AI tool. Rich text is basically a text field that you can add to your homepage and includes a heading, a caption, text, and a button that can link customers to a new page. And this is a great way to share a message or information with your customers and send them to a specific page that you want them to view. And when adding rich text, Shopify now has a generative text AI tool that can help write your text for you. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add a rich text section to our homepage using AI. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, Let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. So from the theme editor, let's look at the template menu on the left hand side and go down to the bottom and click the add section tab. This will open up a window where you can view all the sections that you can add to your Shopify theme. From the list here, go ahead and find and select the Rich Text tab. The Rich Text section should then be added to your menu on the left, and also a preview should now be available on the right. So now that I've added a Rich Text section, let's check out the various customization options. First, let's go to the menu on the left and check out the Rich Text main tab. This will open up a menu with several customization options for your Rich Text section. At the top here, you can select the position of your content. You can position your content to the right of the page, the left, or the center. But keep in mind, the position you select will be viewable on desktop, but on mobile, it will be automatically optimized. In the next section here, you can select your content alignment. If I select left for example, my heading, text, and button will all be aligned to the left of the page. But for my store, I'm going to leave it in the center. You also have other options here to adjust your color scheme, your padding, and other settings, but I think I'm going to leave mine as is. So let's go up to the top left and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've customized my rich text layout. Now let's go over how to personalize the content. If you look at the rich text drop down menu on the left, you should see several tabs available. Here's where you can edit your headline, your text, and your button. So first, let's edit my headline by clicking the top tab here. This will open up a menu where you can edit your heading. In the top text field, go ahead and type in whatever you want your heading to be. As you type, you'll notice your heading update on your preview on the right as well. Once you add your heading, you can then go down to the second section here and select your heading size. Go ahead and try out the various sizes and select the one that looks best for your store. Once you're finished customizing your heading, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So the next tab we have here under the rich text drop down menu is the tab to edit our content. If we click this, it'll take us to a menu where we can type in the text to add to our description. Let's go ahead and get rid of the default text. So in the text field, feel free to type in whatever description that you want to use for your store. If you're having a hard time coming up with your description, Shopify now offers an AI tool that can actually write it for you. If you look at the top toolbar here and click the generative text icon, it'll open up a menu where you can use AI to generate your description. In the top field, you can describe the type of text that you want to generate, and underneath, you can use the drop down menu to select the tone of your text. The tone of your text should be determined by whatever you're writing, and they have tons of tones to choose from. So in the field here, let's describe the text that I want the AI to generate. I'm going to have it generate a welcome message for shoppers that visit my online store. For this example, let's keep things lighthearted and select a playful tone. Once you describe the text that you want to create and select your tone, go ahead and go to the bottom here and click the generate button. Your text will then be analyzed and three separate suggestions will then be generated by the AI. You can then read over your AI suggestions and select the one that you like best. And the AI text will then be added to your description. So let's read my text here and see what the AI came up with. It says, Quantum Designs is your destination for apparel that combines fashion and entrepreneurship. Find your unique style today. Not bad. I think that'll work perfectly for my description. Keep in mind, you can still edit the text any way you like in the text field here. 
But once you're finished, let's click the back button and go back to the theme editor main menu. So we've updated our heading and our description. Now let's go over how to update our button. From the rich text drop down menu on the left, go ahead and click the buttons tab. And of course, this will open up the menu where we can edit our button. In the first field up top here, I can edit my button label. The label you create for your button should be determined by where you plan to send your shoppers. I'm just going to have my button send customers to view my products. So let's label my button view all products. In the next section here, I can select my button link. In the text field, you can either paste the link or click the field to open up a menu where you can search through all of the pages in your online store. Since I want shoppers to view all of my products, let's click the products tab. From here, I can select an individual product to send customers to or select all products up top. There we go. Now, whenever a customer clicks my button, they'll be taken to a page where they can view all of my products. If you wanted to change your button style from a solid color to an outline, you could use the checkbox here. And down at the bottom here, you also have the option to add a second button to your rich text field if you like. But for my store, I'm just going to roll with one button. So let's go back up top and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So now my rich text field has been fully customized with my heading, description, and my button. If you needed to rearrange the rich text section or any other section on your homepage, simply go over to the tab here and click and drag the icon on the far right. This allows you to easily rearrange the sections on your theme homepage. For my store, let's move my rich text underneath my image banner. That'll work. Before continuing, go ahead and go up to the icons up top here and make sure your rich text looks good on all devices. You want to make sure it's formatted correctly for mobile and for desktop. If everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right of the page and click the save button. And a rich text section has been added to my Shopify theme. So that's a quick overview of how to add a rich text section to your Shopify homepage using the generative text AI tool. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Don theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.